This is the Rube Goldberg machine in Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is a video game developed by Bethesda Softworks. It was released in 2008. This Rube Goldberg machine has several parts. First of all, there is this pressure plate on the ground here. When I step on the pressure plate, it releases a signal through a wire that goes up the wall here, which releases this, as you can see currently. Once it falls forwards, this line of books falls forward, and then it hits a pressure plate here. The pressure plate there activates the pitching, pitching machine over here. The pitching machine here fires several baseballs over here, which bounce off the wall, which clamps on the bear trap, which hits an explosive canister that used to be there, which is no longer there, which explodes. The explosion goes through gases in the air here, which detonates this generator. It causes a chain reaction that, that blows up all the way through here until it blows up into the ceiling area. Once it blows up into the ceiling area, the rubble inside the ceiling is knocked down, and the rubble inside the ceiling contains useful, useful items here. An example of this is this. Hold on, let me load a different save. Okay. As you can see, the Rube Goldberg machine is reset. If I walk over here, you can see the pressure plate has not been activated yet. When I, as before, when I, when I step on the pressure plate, it's a pulley which pulls on this device, this little log with the ram's horn on there. That is a wedge. That's an example of a wedge. There is a pulley system inside the wall. Once the wedge hits these books, it acts as dominoes, which progresses all over here, which activates another pressure plate. This pressure plate is pushed down, which activates a play system, which activates the pitching machine here, located right here. And as you can see, there is a minor distortion in the air. That is some toxic gases in the air that are highly flammable. That's what causes the next part of the machine to activate. Once this pitching machine hits over here, it will activate on this bear trap. Once it activates the bear trap, it will hit the explosive, detonate, detonates all this, blows up into the ceiling, and into the ceiling you will find the debris. The debris is located up there. Once the explosion goes off, it's knocked down here. Now I will load again and show you how it works. Without any commentary. Pressure plate. Located right here. like that. The example of the pulley would be these pressure plates. You pull, you, you step on the pressure plate which releases a different part of it which sticks around to here which moves this log and it's attached to chains in the ceiling with the wedge on the head of it which hits the books causing a domino effect in which the last book falls on the pressure plate. This pressure plate activates a pitching machine which is an example of a wheel and axle inside of the pitching machine. Actually, there are two wheels, which launch the baseballs over here, which bounce off the wall, bounce off the bear trap, which detonates um, a fuel canister, a gasoline canister, which detonates all the um, explosive gases in the air that were causing a distortion in the air over here, which explodes through the ceiling, which knocks the debris down, solving the problem. The problem was to f find a way to retrieve the debris from the ceiling that is currently inaccessible. If I were to no clip, I could fly into the ceiling and retrieve it, but that's not how you're supposed to do it. The Rube Goldberg machine solves that for you. Thank you.